Hey everybody, it's Anissa and I'm back with another video. Two videos in two weeks, it's a Christmas miracle. Today I'm going to show you how to do three nail art looks that are all done with the Zoya 2020 Fall Collection Luscious that I reviewed last week. It all fits together. I'm starting with a peel off base coat because I have issues with commitment. The one I'm using is Unt because I don't want to pronounce it Unt because that sounds terrible. And I'm a family friendly channel. I'm starting out by painting all my nails with Mel. Then, to give me an added layer of protection in case I screw up, I'm going to go over it with a top coat. Quick dry. Does anybody else see that little skewampus bristle hanging off to the side there? <sighs> That's all I can see now. Well, try to ignore it as I continue to paint top coat on my nails. Then I'm going to take Soleil and a nail art brush and I'm going to paint an abstract sort of L liney design, which is of course the technical term. The best part of abstract designs is no one knows what they were supposed to look like. So however it ends up, that's the way you meant it. Continue filling that in until it either looks right or feels right because Honestly, I'm not entirely certain what I'm doing with these last touch-ups because I think it looks pretty much the same after I'm done with them. And I don't think I mentioned, but I am doing this on my ring finger as just an accent nail, you know, so you can look down with just a little bit of bling in your day. Keep messing with it until you reach that undefinable line of this is finished. And not yet, not yet, not yet. And boom, we're done. And that's design number one of our three looks with the Zoya Luscious Collection. And I'm going in on my nails with Tommy. And of course I prepped again with another coat of the Peel Off Base Coat. I can't be the only one who thinks it's just kind of soothing to watch someone put nail polish on their nails. It's just mesmerizing. You just zone out to it. Then I'm going to go in with Lou after I apply some French nail tip vinyls. And as you'll notice right here, I very clearly did not let the layers of nail polish dry underneath before I put the vinyls on. Learn from my mistakes. Don't do what I did. Pretty 
Pro tip, don't forget to remove the vinyl directly after you've applied the nail polish while it's still wet. You don't want those suckers drying on your nails. That's not a cute look. See, this is why I used a quick dry top coat. Get rid of all my mistakes. And once those are dry, I go in again with a coat of the Quick Dry Top Coat. I actually really like the Sally's Insta Dry Top Coat. It works fabulously for me and stays on. Keeps my nails looking amazing. And yes, that is one of my blonde hairs going in front of the camera screen. That's awkward. And there we have completed look number two. And for look number three, I'm going to go in with liquid latex and paint it all around my cuticles and nails to prevent a mess later on. And I wish I didn't have to say this, but I'm going to. If you're allergic to latex, do not do this step. Then I'm going to do a base coat of our friend Soleil on all of my nails. Then I'm going to go in with Tasha and a makeup sponge and I'm going to paint it on and do a gradient. I really like this look because it reminds me of a fancy version of fall. Do as many coats as you feel you need to get the opacity you want, or until the nail polish gods whisper in your ear, that's enough child. Then using a pair of tweezers, remove the liquid latex from around your nails. Now begin to clean up any of the overage that snuck past the liquid latex around your nails. And finally, go in with one more coat of Quick Dry Top Coat to seal in your design. And finally, that completes look number three. Well, that's it for me. Go ahead and give me a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that YouTube knows how cool I am. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again sometime probably with another video. See ya.